Grab your Bibles and let's read Isaiah 43 while well, my hair dries. <laughs> Sing, O burden, thou that didst not bear, break forth into singing and cry out loud. That thou, let's see, thou that didst not travel with child for more are the children of the desolate than the children of the married wife, saith the Lord. Enlarge the place of thy camp, and let them stretch forth the curtains of thy inhabitants. Square not, <clears throat> spare not, lengthen thy cords, and strengthen thy stakes. For thou shalt break forth on the right hand and on the left, and thy seed shall inhabit the Gentiles, and make the desolate cities be inhabited. Fear not, <clears throat> for thou shalt not be ashamed, neither be thou confound, for thou shalt not be put to shame, for thou shalt forget the shame of thy youth, and shalt not remember the reproach of thy widowhood, any more, for thy maker is thine husband, the Lord of hosts is his name, and thy redeemer is the Holy One of Israel, the God of the whole earth shall he be called, for the Lord hath called thee as a woman forsaken and grieving in spirit, and a wife of youth, when thou hast refused, saith the Lord. For a small moment have I forsaken thee, but with a great mercy will I gather thee. In a little wrath I hid my face from thee for a moment, but with an everlasting kindness will I have mercy on thee, saith the Lord thy Redeemer. For this is the waters of Noah unto me, for I for as I have sworn that the waters of Noah should no more go over the earth, so I have sworn that I would not be wrath with thee or rebuke thee. For the mountains shall depart, and the hills be removed, and my kindness shall not depart from thee, neither shall the covenant of my peace be removed saith the Lord, that have mercy on thee. O thou afflicted, tossed with timbers, and not comforted, behold, I will lay thy stone with the fair colors, that, and lay thy foundation with the sapphire. And I will make thy windows of a gate, and thy gates of carbuncles and with all the borders of a pleasant stone and all thy children shall be taught of the Lord and great shall be the peace of thy children and in righteousness shall thou be established thou shalt be far from the oppression for thou shalt not fear and from terror for it shall not come near thee Behold, they shall surely gather together, but not by me. Whatsoever shall gather together against thee shall fall for thy sake. Behold, I have carried the smith that bowed the coat, blowed the coals in the fire, and that bringeth forth the instrument for his work, and I have created the water to destroy. No weapons that is formed against thee shall prop, prosper. 
and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment shalt thou condemn. This is the heritage of the servant of the Lord, and the righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. See, people take this one part of the verse, no weapons that is formed against me shall prosper. And they just say that. But if you look, there is more to this. And every tongue shall raise against thee in judgment. Thou shalt condemn. Okay, so what is this saying? This is saying that the weapons is formed against you is not. But the tongues will and all, and the rest of the what the Bible verse is saying. About the judgment okay and the heritage of the servant and the righteousness so you got more to put precept on top of precept Isaiah 55 ho everyone that thirsteth come ye to the waters and he that has no money come ye buy and eat yea come buy wine and milk without money and without price. Therefore do you spend money for what which is not bread, and your labor for which satisfies not. Hearken diligently unto me, and eat ye what which is good, and let your soul delight itself in fatness. Now there's a Bible verse in Deuteronomy and I'm not going to go look it up. But it says for us to eat our fruit and vegetables in due season. In other words, if it comes up out of ground, that's when we're supposed to eat it. Alright, three. Incline your ear and come unto me here, and your soul shall live. And I will make an everlasting covenant with you, even the sure mercies of David. Behold, I have given him for a witness to the people, a leader and a commander to the people. Behold, thou shalt call a nation that thou knowest not, and a nation that know not thee shall run unto thee because of the Lord thy God, and for the Holy One of Israel, and he hath glorified thee. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Now, I, I say everybody ought to call on him while they, while, look, when you die, it's too late. It's too late. My coffee's getting cold. Seven. Let the wicked forsake his ways, and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him turn unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. Now that is a good Bible verse, because our way is not his way, and his way are yeah, his way is not our way. And um, what we think might be right for us may not be right. He may have something a whole lot more planned for us that's better for us than what we are. I'll be back. All right, number nine. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain cometh down, and the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, but weathereth the, the earth, and maketh it bring forth and bud, that it may give seed to the sower, and the bread to the eater. Nowadays you cannot get um, really good seeds that is passed down from generation to generation because that company has fixed it so the 
seeds in the food will not grow. Alright. So shall my words be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the things whereto I sent it. For ye shall go out with joy, and be led forth with peace. The mountains and the hills shall break forth before you unto singing, and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Instead of the thorn shall come up the fir tree, and instead of the briar shall come up the myrtle tree, and it shall be to the Lord for a name, for an everlasting sign that shall not be cut off. Chapter 56 Thus saith the Lord, Keep ye judgments, and do justice. Alright, so you say, people say, you're not supposed to judge. Well, this, what is judgment? What is justice? The truth, right? Yes, it's the truth. So, if I see somebody that uh, likes to steal, and you know, I'm not, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't appreciate that. I want to stay away from that. I can judge that person. I don't want them in my house because I steal. Okay, I mean you're gonna be the same, the same old way. So you can judge people, and and you can't say it's anything different. It's judging. All right, number two. Blessed is the man that doeth this, and the son of man that lieth hold on it, that keepeth the Sabbath from polluting it, and keepeth his hands from doing any evil. All right, now, here we got the Sabbath. If you look at your calendar, it will tell you the Sabbath is the first day of the week, which is a Saturday. And don't do any evil on that day. It is better to get in the Word of God to stay in there, even though I don't do it. I I don't keep up with days. It's like, I can't keep up with days. And I wish I could, because I would read the Bible a lot on a Saturday. If I can keep up with what's going on on that day. Hey, look, it's a Saturday. Even on a Friday, I would like to. Alright, three. Neither let the son of, son of the stranger that has joined himself to the Lord speak, saying, The Lord hath utterly separated me from his people. Neither let the eunuch say, Behold, I am a dry tree. Alright, now, I'm going to say this. A eunuch is a person, a man, that takes care of the women. And from what I understand, all was cut off. From what I understand. Now, I could be wrong, but I remember reading something about what the eunuchs used to do and all the the way that the way that they are it was it wasn't a thick book it was a little thin book that i read but they took care of like the queen and the uh all the women that are there and everything and he took care of them and done the things that he needed to do for the women and it didn't have anything to do with sex whatsoever it all had to do with like um, picking up heavy boxes or you know stuff like that and if she needed her dress to be zipped up if she could didn't have a maiden to do that he did it so it ain't nothing like that people at least that's what the book that I read but now, I don't know. I didn't live back then, so I really can't judge that. Like right, four. For thus saith the Lord, unto the eunuch that keep my Sabbath, and choose the things that please me, and take hold of my covenant. Now, I also want to mention, too, <coughs> that this eunuch guy, 
is not talking about another guy that likes another guy. Or even marries another guy. It ain't got nothing to do with that. Alright. I just want to make sure I put that in. Alright. Even to them will I give in my house and with my walls a place and a name better than of the son of the daughters. And I will give them an everlasting name that shall not be cut off. Also, the son of a stranger that joins themselves to the Lord to serve him and to the love the name of the Lord to be his servant. Everyone that keepeth the Sabbath from polluting it and taketh hold of my covenant. He is wanting you and me. I'm putting me in this mad, mad game too. He wants you to keep the Sabbath. That is going to be a sign between you and him. And I, I really do need to start paying attention and doing it because, look, when I die, I don't want to burn. <laughs> I want I want to be able to go and say, Thank you, Lord Jesus, for what you've done to me. Because if it wasn't for you, where really would I be at? You made me. You know me. You know me better than I know myself. Alright, number seven. Even them... I bring to my holy mountain and make them a joyful joyful in my house a prayer. Their burnt offering and their sacrifice shall not be accepted upon my altar. He does not like sacrifices and you killing the animals. He does not want that. And and it plainly right here says it. Um for my house shall be called a house of prayer for all people. Now, if you go and you look in, I think it's in Matthew, where Jesus turns the money changers over. And, uh, and he says, you made my, my father's house a den of thieves. See, even back in Jesus' time, he, God was not there. If you, if I mean, think about it. He is not in the churches today, and he was most definitely not welcome back then. All right. Number eight. The Lord God, which gathereth the outcast of Israel, saith, "Let yet will I gather others to him besides those that are gathered unto him." In other words. Jesus Christ went to the cross and he died so us Gentiles could be grafted in with Jesus Christ. So we are supposed to go by what his commandments. Now if we go back and we read the Ten Commandments, that is the commandments that we should go by. Now the food... Um, the the closer that you want to get to to the Creator Father God, the more commandments you're gonna look at, and you're gonna want to do them commandments, so you can get closer to Him. We all should be that way, but I'm gonna tell you, I fall short way lot. I mean, I don't. There's a lot of food that I will not eat, like pork. I don't eat pork. I like turkey bacon. But now I'm going to tell you, I have flunked really bad and I've ate regular bacon. <laughs> and I'm not going to lie about it. I have ate, I don't like sausage. So, mm -mm. but now I do like bacon. Alright, let's go on. All ye beasts of the field come to devour. Yea, all ye beasts in the forest. His watchmen are blind. They are all ignorant. They are all dumb dogs. They cannot bark, sleeping, lying down, loving to slumber. And that's a lot of people today. They 
they don't want to open their eyes and see the truth that is going on. And we're on number 11. Yay. They are greedy dogs which can never have enough. And they have a shepherd that cannot understand. In other words, you look at your preachers. Your preachers go to a pagan college. Yeah, I'm saying it like it is. Now, <clears throat> Rick and one of his friends said, we're going to go to Bible college. And his friend got to go, but Rick did not get to go. And Rick's like, how did this Bible college go? And he's like, man, I, before I went in there, I knew God. But whenever I was in there, he per, the, the God pretty well much said, um, there is no God. So how can you go and get ordained or whatever you want to call it and believe that there is no God? I don't understand that. You've got look, don't go to no college. All that is to surrender to me teaching. That's the way I see it. I don't know how you see it, but that's the way I see it. Um they all look to their own way, every one for his gain, from his quarter. All right, well, what's a quarter? It could be a room. It could be your money. It, look, preachers are after their congregation's money. And they like that 90C3 or whatever it's called, their tax write-off. So they don't have to pay taxes. Which that. They should have to do that anyway. You know. But the way I see it is. If they would stand up and say. No I'm not going to be no. 501c3. And I'm not going to pay you your taxes either. This is God's house. And say okay God here it is. You take it over. And let God do all the work for you. Yeah it's going to be a fight. But I'm going to tell you what, it is better to die for the Lord than it is to live for the devil. Alright, come ye, say they, I will fetch wine, and we will fill ourselves with strong drink, and tomorrow shall be as this day and much more abundant. Alright, I love you guys. Thanks for listening. Hugs and kisses. How to donate to PayPal. You mash on poor man's sewing. And then you come up here. And you look for a bout. And you mash on a bout. And right here you hit on donate to poor man's sewing. It's people like you that help me out. And it is really appreciated. And I hope you many blessings and this hard times that we are fixing to go through. A lot of hugs and kisses to you.